So right now I have on my homemade face powder, some little bit of lipstick and some blush, and a little bit of eyeliner on my top lash line here. So right here I have a little thing of all of my natural makeup that I've made. Here it is. This one here is a cream foundation. This is my powder foundation. Here's some blush, powder blush. Here's another cream foundation that I put in an e.l.f. package. It was only a dollar, so I bought it. It's very good for traveling, very small. This can be used as a cheek or a lip stain. This is like a stick concealer or a stick foundation. You just kind of put it on and rub it in. And the same thing with this. Very good for traveling. It's very small. It's just a stick lip and cheek. And it's very dewy for the creams. It's very nice and dewy, which I really like. Alright, so I, um, I'm doing this video because I am running out of products to use. And this here, it's almost gone. And I want to make some more blush and some more of the cream foundation. So I'm going to show you today how that I make that. Some of the containers that I use, I get on eBay, I just get like maybe a dozen or 20 for maybe five or six dollars. And this one I got in, was it Face Values, Harmons? And this, I said before that I got it, I got it at Target. It's just an e.l.f. package and it was a dollar, so I took out what was in it and just made this and put it in there. Very good for being very small in my purse. And this is the same thing with this lip and cheek thing. I bought a all over color stick, I believe it's called. Yes, yes, all over color stick by e.l.f. And I just scraped out what was in it, cleaned it with alcohol, and just put my ingredients in. And it's very nice, very pretty to put on. I'm not wearing that right now, I'm just wearing my powder blush, my lip color from mixing this color together with some, some shea butter, and my powder, my face powder that I made. So now I'm going to show you how that I make it. So first I'm going to show you all of my pigments that I have that I've bought from different places online, and yes, that's Johnny Depp in the back, I love him. Here's some of my pigments, most of them, these are the ones that I'm going to be using today. This is charcoal that I bought online when I got some acne. Here is earth pigments in apricot, that's for my face powder to mix it in. Very nice color. This is also from earth pigments, it's rosewood, I use this for blushes and for lip colors. This is from mountainroseherbs.com. It's white kaolin cosmetic clay. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And this is for my face powders. This is a green correcting powder. That's what I use it actually for. It's French green clay. I use it as a green correcting powder because I can get red sometimes. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but I'm gonna try. It's Russell clay or Russell clay, like Russellin. <laughs> Russell clay and it's from mountainroseherbs.com I use these, this shea butter as a base and this is the yellow kind it's raw and um, very good quality I got it on eBay for $16 and this I also got on eBay I use this on my face the most because it's whipped which makes it a lot easier to spread it between my fingers and I really like this brand it's very good here are some more pigments that I might be using today. It's from DIYCosmetics.com. These are all, I got samples because I wasn't sure how it would come out and I wanted to see how it would look. This is zinc oxide, porcelain foundation, uh, foundation base, it's vegan, colloidal C buckthorn, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, rosehip promote, olive leaf restore, Licorice Brighten, Warana Circulate, Green Tea Inhibit, Cucumber Cool, 
and chamomile calm. I bought this from DIY Cosmetics also and I was going to mix some shea butter and different pigments to create an eye palette or a lip palette with different color pigments from my lips or maybe a foundation. I'm not I'm not really sure yet. So since I'm going to be making the powder foundation first, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be putting it in. I got it at Target and it was three for a dollar. It was in the one spot zone. So here's everything laid out. What I'm going to start with for the white cowling clay, cosmetic clay from mountainroseherbs.com. Since I can get a little bit red and I really want to cover that up, I'm going to put some French green clay in here. And, um, let's see, this is the however you pronounce it clay. I have to look up how to pronounce it. I'm just going to use a little bit of that. Just mix that first. I'm going to try this one first. Since I didn't know how these would turn out because I don't trust pictures of things online for when it comes to cosmetics. So um, in spend, instead of spending a lot of money to buy each of these in the full size, I just got all samples. Now I'm going to be using Cucumber Cool. Really the only reason I started making some of my own cosmetics is because most places, not all places, some places I go to online, their foundations would be too dark for me and it would be very annoying trying to find different places that have foundation that can match me and some of it can be expensive. So I just decided to start making my own and figured that I could save some money that way. Oh, by the way, I just used Chamomile Calm. And I know this is a lot, but this will last me a long time, so... I, my, the other one that I made that I show you, showed you earlier, uh, powder that I made, it got annoying when it got to the bottom because it was harder to get in the sifter. So I just decided to not use a sifter for my powder when I make it again. I'm going to use some more of the Mountain Rose Herbs White Cowling Clay. It's very fair, which I really like. A bit of the green clay again. brush that I got from Claire's on it and see how it looks on me. This is the way, whenever I use a powder, the way that I do it is I dip a little bit like that and then I'll mix it into here and kind of spread it out over the kabuki brush so that it's very even. And that's another reason why I bought this because I, I had that in mind when I bought it because it's nice and big for the kabuki brush to even it out nicely. See how it's on there for even? It's hard to see and the camera's not really picking it up well enough but it really is nice. I'm actually going to keep this in a Ziploc bag just in case that the cap comes open. If the cap opens up, I mean, you never know. I don't want to waste I made this all powder foundation is the last time I made it. I didn't use any of the DIY cosmetics because I made my powder foundation and then I think it was the next or second day that I got the DIY cosmetics package in the, in the mail. So I, it was already fine. I didn't want to change or anything. And I didn't make that much anyways. So I keep it in there like that in my purse all the time whenever I need mattifying powder or uh, cover up some redness or make my skin look really nice. Now I'm going to get to the harder stuff where I'm going to make... You know, I actually might use that palette that I got from DIY Cosmetics and make a foundation palette and a lip palette together, like half and half. 
hopefully that'll turn out nice.